Hello and welcome to the Profile Tree YouTube channel. My name is Terence and I'm going to be your host for today. This is the first episode of our Google Ads series. We're going to take you through the necessary steps that you need to follow to make sure your Google Ads is set up correctly and running at its best. Before we start, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe so you're notified when the next episode comes out. In today's video, we're going to go through the process of setting up your first account. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to ads.google.com and you'll be presented with a window like this. Ensure that you're signed in to the correct browser and click Start Now. The first pop-up you'll see is going to ask you, what's your main advertising goal? You're presented with three options. Get more calls, get more website sales or signups, get more visits to your physical location. Depending on the objective of your first campaign, select from these. In this case, we want to drive people to our website. We're going to click on get more website sales or signups. Then click next. Now you need to give your business a name. This will be the name of your Google Ads account. So you can name it whatever you feel like. In this case, profile tree setup account and then click next. Now you need to paste in your website URL. Got it here. Simply copy it all and paste it in. Now I don't need any of this. I just need the domain. And then you can click next. Now Google Ads will scan your website and learn about your business. Google will automatically generate suggestions for your campaign. Now you need to verify that you've put in the correct website. Google offers a mobile and a desktop option to view that this is the correct website. If it is correct, click next. Now it's time to write your first ad. Google has automatically generated an ad using its best practices based off of the scan of your website. So the headline one, two, and three are what Google suggests the best headline based off of the landing page that you've inserted. The same for the two descriptions. You'll notice the character limit under each line shows you that you're only allowed 30 characters in each headline and 90 characters in each description. Over here, you'll see a preview of what people will see when they are shown your ad. If you would like to add your phone number, you can do that here and it will show up underneath. If you're happy with the way this ad is laid out, you can scroll down and click next. Now Google is asking you to add keyword themes to match your ad to searches. Keyword themes are the search terms that someone will type into Google, which Google will then link to your ad. These have automatically been generated based off of Google's scan of your website and the keywords that it's picked up from your website. If you'd like to add more, you can simply click the suggested keyword themes down here and it will add them to the list or you can add your own by clicking new keyword theme. If you're happy with the way your keywords are laid out, you can click next. Up next, you need to make sure you show your ads in the right places. Google has automatically generated this based off of your current location. If this is where you want to target, you can keep it as is. However, you have the option to change simply by clicking here and typing in a postcode, city, county, or even a country. In this case, we want to go with Northern Ireland. Select it. And because Belfast and Newtown Abbey are in Northern Ireland, they've now been grayed out. So we can remove them. You also have the option to advertise near an address by simply adding an address and it puts a radius around however wide you choose. In this case, we'll keep it at Northern Ireland and we'll click next. Now it's time to choose your budget. You have to set a budget to get the results that you want. The very first thing you need to do at this point, select the correct currency because this is very difficult to change once your account is up and running. Now Google gives you three options. Recommended for you is £12.10 and this is a daily average which should get you 270 to 370 ad clicks each month. You're welcome to go less or more by simply clicking on the box. It's important to remember that this is a daily budget and not your total budget. 
you are able to enter in your own budget by simply typing it in or by using the sliders. In this case, we will go with the recommended budget and we will click next. Now it's time to review your campaign to be sure it is just right. Your campaign name has been automatically generated by Google. You can change this to a naming convention that suits you. It's important to remember to keep as much information in your campaign name as possible so that you can refer back to it at a top level. Next, you see your campaign goal. This is the first thing you selected, website traffic. Your website that you're sending people to. Your business name, which is the one that will show up at the top. Your ad text, which you can see a preview of over here with your estimated monthly clicks. Your phone number the location you're targeting and the keyword themes you chose. You can edit any of these by simply clicking on the pencil and changing something and click save. If you're happy with the way your campaign is laid out, you can click next. Now you'll need to set up your payment info. It's important to go through this very thoroughly and make sure you've read every single section to ensure that your billing setup is correct. Make sure you have selected the right location, the right time zone, if you happen to have a promotional code, you can put that in there. And then you can create a payment profile by simply adding in your details here. Once you have done this, you can click Submit. Congratulations, your account is officially set up. You can click on Explore your campaign to go to your campaign settings. And there you have it. Your account is officially set up and you're ready to start marketing your brand to the world. Going through this series, we're going to cover a lot of different sections in Google Ads. If there's something specific you want us to go over, please leave it in the comments below and we'll make sure to add it to our series. Make sure you leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people, share it with your friends and subscribe so that you don't miss any more of the series or any other videos that we might upload. That brings us to the end of this video. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.